welcome back to my channel. My name's Vicki. If you're new here, I thank you for stopping by and I hope that you'll decide to hit that subscribe button and stay a while. Today, I'm going to be sharing a recipe with you. Now, I've made Philly's cheesesteaks before and I thought they were really good, but my husband told me that he doesn't really like Philly cheesesteaks, so I'll take that as a challenge. I used to make them on my George Foreman grill, but this time I'm going to be using the Hawaiian sweet rolls and I'm gonna cook my meat in a skillet with a sauteed onion. We're gonna add some cheese, do some special things to the buns. It's gonna be really good. So the first thing I'm gonna do is heat up my front skillet. I'm going to put a little bit of vegetable oil in it and I'm going to chop up my onions and add them to the skillet and let them saute first. seasoning. I can't find my garlic powder, so I'm wanting that garlic flavor. I think this will be okay, though. I may add some more to it, to the butter in a minute. Okay, I'm going to be using these steakums. They're 100% beef, and they just take a couple minutes to cook. Now, these are frozen, so they may take a little longer. It's been a long time since I've used these. I think Chad's going to be amazed. I think he's going to love it. He came home with gout today, so he's hurting. My arthritis is flared up, so I'm hurting. So we're doing real good between the two of us. Let me see if I can get these loose. How do you do it? I used eight slices. I think that'll be enough meat for our sliders. We'll see. If I need more, I'll add to it. While that's getting done, and I just put them on top of the onions, we're going to put it over medium heat. Ted already ate one of my one of my uh, buns here. I'm just going to take this melted butter and put it over the bottom of my pan. Just like that. There we go. And I'm going to take my bread. I'm going to cut it in half with a serrated knife. So you're going to need a pack of a Hawaiian sweet bread, some steakums, some melted butter, an onion. You can also use green peppers if you want. I forgot my pepper. I'm going to put some steak sauce on it. I'm going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top. And I got some mozzarella and provolone cheese that we're going to add to it too. Also sprinkle some garlic and herb seasoning in it. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to cut it in two and a half with a serrated knife. And then I'll put the bottoms on my pan. There's those bottoms. That's the 
top, I'll leave that there. Then I'm gonna cut these bottoms, pop them bottoms in two. Use a cutting board if you want. My top is glass top, so it's okay. So I got those on there. I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of my garlic herb seasoning in my melted butter to brush on top. Um, I've got my oven set at 400 because basically, when you put it in there, everything's gonna be cooked except for the cheese melted and your buns being toasted. So that's all we're doing in there. So this just cooks up really thin. I may have to add some to it, I don't know. this Country Bob steak sauce. My brother-in-law gave it to me. It's amazing. And just put it to the taste that you like. Smells good. Smells real good. I know when I made them on my George Foreman, I made them sort of like a panini. I remember I used hoagie buns and I buttered them and sprinkled garlic powder on them or garlic salt one. And then I put my Steakums after I cooked it and put my peppers and onions on it and then I layered them on top of the hoagie bun and then I put the cheese on it. I think I used provolone cheese slices for that. Then I put the top on it, buttered it and sprinkled garlic uh, salt on it or garlic powder on it. Then I pressed it in my George Foreman grill. Oh, it was so good. It's been a long time so he may not remember me making those. And you know what, this might not be enough, but I think it's enough for us. So I'm not gonna, even if I don't use all those buns, it's okay because I think this is enough for us. Put a little bit more steak sauce on it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and see what it looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and put my shredded onions and steak right on top there. those buns. I think I'm going to move these out of the way. I don't think I'm going to use all those. I can put them back in a bag and use them for something else. Even if I did butter them, it won't hurt anything. I can use them for a sandwich tomorrow for lunch or something. So, went ahead and put that on there. Turn my burner off. So, I've got my buns with my steak and onion mixture. My steak sauce. This is a good, easy, quick, uh, quick weeknight meal. Um, you know, like I said, my arthritis is flared up. Chad's got gout right now, so neither one of us felt like doing anything for dinner, and I'm just like, I'll make something quick and easy. So, I'm sprinkling the shredded cheese on there. 
And I know when our kids were young, we were always so busy going to sports, sporting events and stuff. So now I'm gonna put the tops to my braid on here. I'm just gonna move this down a little bit if it'll let me. Okay, it's more neat than you fell off. And this would have been really good to fix something quick and easy. Now my boys would have devoured this. My daughters would not, they wouldn't eat this. Now one of my sons is a vegetarian, so he wouldn't eat it. But my other son that's married would. He loves meat. There's not a whole lot he don't like. He likes food and he likes, he likes about anything I cook, I think. He always did pretty much, him and his brother. But now his one brother is a, uh, well his only brother is a vegetarian. Okay, so I went ahead and brushed my butter on there. And then I'm gonna take my sesame seeds. Now this is just for looks and sprinkle a little on the top. Just to make it look cute. This would be good for New Year's Day, birthday parties, showers, any kind of thing. Snack, lunch, dinner. I'm gonna put it in the oven. I'm gonna say for five minutes. And then we'll check it five to eight minutes, okay? Okay, I just got them out of the oven. That's what they look like. They slid, oh no, I almost lost them. That's why they're called sliders. <laughs> Do you hear my husband? He said, that's why they're called sliders. Ain't that funny? Okay, honey, he's gonna let me use his camera to take a picture for my thumbnail and then we'll let him try it. He's my guinea pig, as they call it. They look good. They do, don't they? Okay. All right. I'll let you taste the first, but I only made half because it made so much. I didn't think it either. I'm pretty hungry, but let's see. Can you eat six sliders? Oh, no, I can't. I mean, okay. Plenty, I'm just saying, I'm glad you made them look hungry. Okay, now they're hot, don't get burned, so. Let's get up here in front of the camera a little bit. He likes his job. Don't oh, you? I do, I like the job. All right. Mm. Can you taste the steak sauce? Why the so good? Garlic in it and the onions. There's something that's really it's tasty. Probably, it's probably the steak sauce, right, Amy? Do you like it? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite Pretty of his good. too. Mmm. It is good. The next time I make a frozen pizza or some Fruit Loops or something, I'm gonna have her do a taste test for me. Mm-hmm. Well, everyone. She won't eat my frozen pizzas. I don't know. Let me know how you like it if you make it. And if you have made sliders like this before, let me know that in the comments below as well. Also, if there's any specific recipes that you would like to see this winter, let me know. I've got my list made out and I'm starting to get all my ideas together for my videos. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, the secret ingredient is always love. Thank you for watching. God bless you and you have a great evening. Bye.